Hi everyone, this is Kevin DeLeon, your learning consultant for Cengage Learning. I uh, wanted to make a video highlighting the features of our new Questia app. Um, Questia is uh, an app that has been in a couple of our MindTap products for a little while. However, um, it's expanded into many more of our MindTaps. I think many um, of you have this um, in, in your mind tap, and I wanted to show you how to use it and show you all the things that you and your students can use it for. Um, First, it's located down here at the bottom, or if you, you might have to click more to get to it, okay? But in this case, it's right here. It's this eye. There's a red circle with a, a white eye in, in inside of it, okay? And so we'll go ahead and click into it. And so Questia allows us to access uh, some of our research databases um, to help you pull content um, from um, periodicals, um, magazines, books, newspaper articles, um, number of different content sources um, that you can search for. Um, and it also serves as a um, writing um, assistant for your students to help them write papers or research papers um, or anything like that. And they can use Questio for your class or really any, any of their courses if they like. Um, it's incredibly versatile. You can additionally bring in different tutorials, articles, any other content that you find in Questia, we can bring out of Questia into MindTap Learning Path um, for your students. So I'm going to show you how we do that. Um, so the first thing that we're going to look for, um, we're going to, this is the, the front page. Um, so there are a couple how-to videos here, how to search the collection, how to use the research tools, um, how to organize your project. Um, each student can build many different project folders. Um, as well. So here's some how-to videos down here. Um, there are, um, if you have an active project, that information will show here as well and you can access it quickly. Up here at the top you'll see a menu with a number of different um, resources here. You can go to the library. Okay, you can search by topic, all these different topics that are in here. You can see art and architecture, communication, criminal justice, education, history, religion, psychology, um, and then you could even filter by different publications, magazines, newspapers, peer-reviewed periodicals, anything that you like. Uh, there's a writing center up here, and this is primarily for your students. All my instructors tell me Kevin, my students struggle with writing. They struggle with writing. They struggle with writing. And we know how many classes you have and how many students you have, and it's just not possible for you to give this kind of attention to all of your students. And while I am sure that you ask them to go to the writing center, some students don't or don't have the ability, um, but this is where they can get their own help at their own time by themselves. Um, and so um, there's almost like a um, writing center wizard here to help them start a paper. They can choose the title, the topic, the due date, and it will walk them through the steps um, that they need, okay? Including finding a topic, creating a thesis statement, writing an outline, research, organization. They can search their, their papers that they've written in here. Uh, down here, a thing I like to highlight is the topic finder. So you can search terrorism. And here are some ideas that you have on terrorism. And if you need help finding a topic, um, you can use the topic generator. So you search maybe history here, and we spin. And this is just kind of a fun thing that helps the students um, figure out what kind of topic they might want to write about. And maybe I don't like anything, so I'll spin again, so on and so on and so forth. And then if I wanted to explore, I could. Okay, and here are all the different articles, and I could read or I could look at an overview. There are also a bunch of different writing steps in here for students. Okay, number one is getting started. So this just kind of walks them through some of the different things that they'll need to do when they um, are going to be writing a paper in terms of selecting a topic and developing a thesis, writing a draft, revising, citations, those types of things. These are just some great ways to help students as they go along because, you know, we know that you can't be everywhere. So these are really some awesome tools. Additionally, there are some tutorials down here. We know students like to watch videos and we know they like examples. So we've provided both for them. 
So here are a bunch of different writing topics and tutorials. Um, so planning a paper, conducting research, evaluating sources is a big one. Avoiding plagiarism is a huge one. Um, how about integrating sources? Or working with different documentation styles like MLA or APA. And if you click on one of these, you'll notice that there are a bunch of different videos and also examples in here that will help your students um, along the way. And they can watch a video and an example okay, on any of these different topics just to help them along the way. Again, they can use this for your class or any other class, whether you do a lot of writing in your class or not. These are incredible tools to not only help your students search for content, but also help them put it and organize it. Um, in the way that it needs to to have a proper research paper or essay or anything that they're working on as well, which is great. Additionally for you, you will, be, you will have the ability to pull out any readings, content, tutorials, any, almost anything that you like out of Questia and put it inside of the MyTap Learning Path. And I'm going to show you how to do that really, really quickly. Okay, so again, like we've just discussed in other videos and customization, we come up to the plus here and we're going to add an activity. You can do this at the unit level here or you can do it inside of each chapter, whatever you like. And we're going to scroll down here. When we add an activity, we have all these different content options and we're going to scroll to the bottom and here's one called Questia. So we're going to search Questia, and it's essentially going to open up the first home page of Questia for us. Okay. So again, I could really search anything. If I wanted to come to the menu and go to the tutorials here, and maybe they have problems with avoiding plagiarism. Many of our students are not plagiarizing on purpose. Some of them just don't know how to, um, you know, what plagiarism is. They don't know how to properly um, paraphrase or anything like that. So these can really, really help. So let's say you think that this video is really, really cool and you want to add this. You can just click Add to MindTap. Again, it's going to ask you if you want to change the title, the description, a due date. You can even choose the position, like I mentioned again. Actually, we're going to put it Okay, here we go. So it's inside the ebook here. Okay? And if I click uh, the ebook folder I meant, but I could have put it anywhere that I liked. and it's going to open up the video for understanding plagiarism. Okay? Additionally, if I want to search maybe fraud, I can. Okay, so it's produced quite a few results for me. So maybe I want um, white collar crime. Okay, so here we go. And let's say this is the exact one that I'm looking for. Oh, you know what? I didn't do it correctly. I need to come here, add activity. My mistake, select the Questia app. And now I can begin looking for the topic. So let's try that again. Okay. So let's just say to be easy that this is the first one that I'm looking for. And as you can see right here, it says add to mind tap. So that's exactly what I can do. I can stick it right in here. It's going to ask me again where I'd like it. I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to put it right there. Here we go. So these are the two items that I added. Here's the video, and then here is the reading that I added. So when I say that you can pull any content from Questia, you really can. And so the content that is added is not only, lim not only limited to uh, what you can find on the internet, what you have on your computer, but also you can search our vast Questia database for really 
um, any item on almost any topic here as well. You can save it to an active project here. You can print. You can um, do citations. You can bookmark. All kinds of different stuff. If you have any questions about Questia,